Hey everybody, Dr. Deb Matthew here from the North Carolina Integrative Medicine Society. And I am super excited to introduce you today to my friend, Svetlana Dubinsky. Um, I met her um, last year at another conference I, I was at. I heard her speak and I was really excited to invite her um, to come to speak to us at the Southeast Regional Integrative Medicine Conference because she has such an important message, um, an important tool for us. So Svetlana, I know that you spent over 30 years working in healthcare, in healthcare systems, and now you've changed everything about what you do. Can you tell us a little bit about why you've gone in a different direction and a little bit more about what you do? Yeah, thanks for having me, Deb. And um, yeah, I've spent most of my life since I was 18 years old, actually, in healthcare and I witnessed some of the worst burnout and suicidality and exhaustion over the last, even before COVID, not just in my peers and my colleagues, but in myself. And about six years ago, I found the work of Dr. Joe Dispenza, and I started practicing the tools and techniques and saw the changes in me, the decline in my health that was happening as a result of the continuous survival and stress and burnout and seeing those health conditions change in me, my life changing, finding joy in myself. I knew if it could work for me, it could certainly work for all of my peers and colleagues and for the patients. And so a couple of years ago, I was offered an opportunity to be trained and certified by Dr. Joe and his team to start delivering this amazing transformative work to the masses. And so that's what I'm doing full time now in an effort to help move and transform the current medical model. So can you tell us a little bit more about what it is that you actually do and what is this new approach? Yeah, it's actually not so new. It's all based in science. It's all evidence-based, based on the neuroscience, the biology, the epigenetics, and the psychology of change. It turns out there's a formula for self-regulation, for managing our thoughts and emotions, the emotional quotients that's so desperately missing in today's medicine. If you're a healthcare practitioner, especially in the art of integrative medicine, and you're seeing patients resistant, you're seeing within yourself that level of burnout and stress, you may have experienced the loss of joy in your profession. I see that so much when I work with physicians. This, These techniques, learning how the emotional quotient works for you in your life and your own health condition, once you can experience this for yourself, the power of your thoughts, the power of your emotions on your life, and you realize you don't have to wait for the world to change, to feel joy to feel happiness. And you start seeing the impact of that in your own health. It organically translates into how you communicate with your patients and explore within your own patients what their emotional quotient is as it relates to the potential health conditions that they keep seeing in their lives. And so I'm so excited. So when you're speaking, you're going to explain more about how all of this works. Are you going to give us some tools that we can use with our patients and with ourselves? Or what can we expect when you're going to be speaking to us? Yeah, I'm so excited about this because not only will I share with you our two foundational models, which you see right behind me as well, and I'll go into depth on how we use those models in the process of change, but I'll give you some tools that you can use as well. So I want to make this really experiential for the audience so that they not only see how this might apply for them and themselves and their practice and for their patients, but walk away with some immediate actionable things they can do today. That's wonderful. You know, I know that a lot of our attendees know of Dr. Joe Dispenza. They've read his book. They've seen his work. For some people, this is going to be brand new, mm -hmm. um, but I think that this is really important and it gives us a different way of looking at things because goodness knows we have people where we try the prescriptions, we try the supplements, we try all the things that we were trained to do, but there's something missing. And this really may be the missing piece for some of our patients. 
That's what we're seeing in our research. Exactly. Well, thank you so much. We're looking forward to it. Thank you so much. Can't wait to see you all.